this is a next case study. This patient of mine, I think maybe some of you know her. Her name is Dora. I wrote about her in the book. She's 75 years old, comes in my office, plumps her bag down on the counter and says, Hey, Missy, I got a job for you. <laughs> and she had a cholesterol of almost 500. Right. No pressure. And um, an LDL of 381. That is very, very high. And she had been on every drug, or tried every drug, and could not tolerate it. Um, and so... We did an advanced panel on her. It was relatively okay, uh, but she did have an APOE 4-4. Her entire family had died of heart disease. I think she had three brothers, and her mom and dad, they'd all died of heart disease, aunts and uncles. I mean, it was a severe family history. But the, the 4 gene was pretty prominent, coming from both sides. Even if you have one 4, your risk of heart disease is pretty high, but you got two 4s. Now, this lady is 70... Let's see, that was 75, 89, so she's 8, 78 now. She's healthy, got all her faculties. This is the gene that's connected to Alzheimer's disease, right? 90% chance, nothing with Dora. I think it's her personality. Mm -hmm. She's not getting Alzheimer's disease. But she has some pretty, she had some pretty bad heart disease. But um, we did an events panel. Next slide, I want to show you what happened with diet. Now, this lady could not tolerate any medication at all. None. Zippo. So, January 4th, 2005. Total cholesterol, 489. Total LDL, 381. HDL, 67. She went on a low-fat diet, which is what this genetic type requires, and lots of fruits and vegetables, and a little bit of walking. And look what happened February 05. Cholesterol of 243. LDL went to 160. HDL 57. Look at her weight. Right. This is just diet. Two months later, March 11th, cholesterol 214. LDL 142. Huge shift. Big difference from 489. Do you think if we caught her earlier that she wouldn't have heart disease or hypertension or any of those problems? No, she wouldn't. I think she would be very, very uh, happy. And she was ecstatic with this. Um, the next test that we did was actually 201, and we got her down to 198, which I think she's kind of hovering around. She drops in and out of 201. So that's a big example to me as a primary care provider. Does diet work? Absolutely. No question in my mind that diet works for this lady.